All right, today, guys, we're going to talk about a art technique that you can use for your visual journals or any other time you're doing something for yourself. This is called a packing tape transfer. Uh, for this, you're going to need some packing tape, a pair of scissors, and a glossy magazine. Uh, the first step that you need to complete is to find a picture that you like. These National Geographics are great. They have some really great photography. Um, and we can find a picture that you would like to transfer onto a piece of packing tape. Now the cool thing about this is that none of the paper actually gets transferred to the packing tape. It's only the ink from the magazine. You gotta make sure you have a glossy magazine. If you have one of the matte ones that just feels like paper, this is not gonna work out that well for you. So we'll find a picture. I've got one already. Right, and then we're going to take a piece of our packing tape and we are going to arrange it, put it on our picture where we want it. I think I'm going to try and get the ketchup and the salt shaker and this drink. Something like this. Now I'm being careful to put it down one side first and slowly go to the other side because I don't want to have any bubbles in this. All right. Now step number two, we need to burnish this tape. We wanna get it stuck down so good on here that there aren't even any tiny bubbles keeping it from sticking to the surface. If you skip this step, then your transfer is not gonna work right. I'm gonna take the back of my scissors, the smooth part here, and I'm going to go over everywhere that my packing tape is. And if you look closely, you probably won't be able to see it in the video, but if you look closely, you'll see that there are some small bubbles that will disappear when you go over it with the back of the scissors. I'm gonna go in one direction, and then I'm going to turn the whole thing around and then go slowly over it in another direction just to make sure I get all of the bubbles out. All right. Once that's done, give it a look. Try and get it to reflect the light. You'll be able to see any of the bubbles that are left over. You don't have to push real hard with the scissor. We don't want to scrape off any bits of the tape or anything like that. Uh, but we want to give it a little bit of firm pressure in order to get all those bubbles out and get the tape all the way stuck to the paper. Now I'm just gonna carefully rip some of this off so that we don't have as big a piece of paper. And now we're actually gonna take this and we are going to go and get some warm water. Okay, right here you can see I've already started one for us and I'm just gonna put that in the water. This seems strange because normally paper and water don't mix, but that's exactly what we want. We want that paper to get wet and mushy so that we can remove it from our tape. This is the same thing I did here. I've got some packing tape stuck to this piece of magazine. So what I'm going to do is carefully and gently flip it over and I'm going to rub it in a little circle motion until that paper starts to come off. You can see here, now I can just gently with my finger kind of roll that paper into little bits that are going to come off of my tape. Okay. Now again, you don't want to press too hard because that might rub off the ink that is stuck to your tape. So you want to do this gently. And if you have to soak it again for a few more minutes, that's fine. Now you can see through my tape now and you can still see the image of this guy here. Now you might think I'm done, but I can still feel the roughness of the paper on this side. So I'm gonna spend a few more seconds here just getting that as clean as I can so that I can make this nice and transparent. All right, that's looking nice. Now what I can do is I can let this dry for a second or pat it with some paper towels and then find a place to put it. If you're gonna put this on your visual journal page, 
it works really great if you have something underneath it because then you can see through it and you can see it a little bit here the texture of my table coming through there but if you have your writing or something like that underneath it that'll come right through especially on the lighter parts which can be very very interesting add a lot of interest to your visual journal page All right this is a technique that you can use whenever you're doing your visual journals here at school or at home, if you've got the materials. Um, and that is called a packing tape transfer.